Welcome to Old Black Hollywood. I am an avid watcher of old movies from the 1920s up until the 1970s. And one thing I learned from watching these movies that Hollywood was not kind to our old black Hollywood actors. And reading and researching more into it, it really broke my heart to learn that all these black actors in Hollywood were never treated fairly. They only were able to choose the roles that were offered to them and they were very limited. So they only had choices to play a butler, a maid, or a servant only. And that is very sad to me. However, we do know of a few who, although they played a role of a maid or a butler, they made it work for them and they were happy doing it. As long as they can perform and act, that's all they wanted. Now, there's one particular actor that I enjoyed reading about, and his name was Edmund Lincoln Anderson, known as Eddie Rochester Anderson. He was an actor and a comedian, well-known, and he actually became popular after appearing on the Jack Benny program as Jack Benny's valet. Now, his very first day and show the audience loved him. He was that funny. And he was paid $75. Now, after a couple of weeks, he became popular and he was offered to continue to be on the Jack Benny program. Not only that, he was able to appear on different television shows, movies, and on stage too. Now, in the 1940s, Eddie Rochester Anderson became the, one of the famous black actors and comedian in Hollywood. Not only that, he was considered to be the richest black actor in Hollywood. He was getting paid $100,000 a year. And of course, with that money, he was able to live well with his wife. They purchased a beautiful home in Hollywood and um, they would throw parties at their house. Their house had a beautiful hardwood floor, and so everybody danced. Not only that, um, Eddie Rochester Anderson also invested his money in a few business deals. He also owned four horses because he enjoyed going to the racetrack to watch the horses race. So he lived a good life because of the opportunity to act. Although his role was always limited and he now, he never really received credit all the time for his work, but one good thing that really happened for him when he was able to receive the leading role in Cabin in the Sky. I'm sure you all heard the movie, the musical with Lena Horne and Ethel Waters. Come on now. So for him, that was really a big deal. You know, he got to showcase all his talents in Cabin in the Sky. If you haven't seen that movie, you should check it out. But overall, it does, you know, make me feel so like sad to, to know what all these black actors during that time had to endure, but they did it for a reason, uh, mainly because they love to act, they love to perform, and that's the only way they can do it, they'll take it. But hey, they were smart too because they made all that money work for them too and they're able to help others as well. And we all know that people like Eddie Rochester Anderson paved the way for the comedians. So don't think it was just Eddie Murphy, Chris Rock, you know, who started it all. It started way back when with Eddie Rochester Anderson. <laughs> 